This video introduces how to create an entity relationship diagram using Microsoft Visio 2007. Once Microsoft Visio is open, select the software and database template category, then double click on the database model diagram. Next, we need to set some options to help our diagram look the way we want it with crow's foot notation and the ability to create many-to-many -many relationships. First of all, we're going to select the database menu from the menu bar, then select options, then document. We will check the option to show crow's feet notation, then click OK. The next option we want to change is in the tools menu in the options area then we click the advanced tab and select the option to run in developer mode so that it is checked then click OK and now we are ready to create our entity relationship diagram you may also want to change the zoom so that you can see more of the page to add an entity to your page select the entity shape in your shapes task pane. Then drag the entity shape onto your page. The next thing you want to do is give the shape a name. In the categories area select definitions then change the physical name of the entity to whatever you want the table to be called. For instance if we want to create a table named employees we would simply type in employees. Then we need to add fields to our entity so we're going to select the columns category and begin entering in our field names. An employee would likely be identified by an employee ID. We can then select this column as our primary key field. Once that column is selected as the primary key it is also marked in the table with a PK and the field is listed at the top of the table. Next we can add additional columns or fields to our table such as first name and last name and hire date. We can also change the data type of our fields to match the type of data that will be stored in the database. Hire date would be a date time field. Then if we have different types of employees in our organization we may need to create subtypes for this relationship. So let's create another entity on our page and we can give this a physical name of salaried employees. Salaried employees, because it is a subtype of our employees entity, it will maintain the same characteristics as our employees table. So we will give a column primary key field of employee ID and mark that as our primary key field. Next, salaried employees also receive an annual salary that we want to track. And finally, they could receive benefits which we will just list as benefit ID. Another type of employee we may want to track is hourly employees so we can draw another entity shape onto our page and name it hourly employees and identify the columns as employee ID which would be our primary key and hourly rate we would also want to change the data type of hourly rate to currency and 
if we wanted to change our annual salary and salaried employees, we could go back and do that as well by selecting the entity and then changing the annual salary column data type to currency.